we've been looking at these 14 or 15 Psalms of Ascent, a subset of the Psalms. And now we've come to the end of that, and we're at Psalm 134. So I'm going to read from Psalm 134, just three verses, and you might say, well, how could there be very much value there? Let's look at it. Behold, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, who by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you from Zion. So here's this very compact, very tiny psalm. Well, what do we have? We have at the beginning, we have the servants. Bless the Lord. We are to come to him and we, we say, bless you. But at the end of this psalm, did you notice at the end, verse 3, the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you from Zion. So there's kind of a reciprocal peace going on here, except that our blessing of God probably doesn't really amount to very much. At least it would seem that way to us. But his blessing from, from, from heaven to us, uh, it, 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 it is deep and wide and beautiful, and we never really quite recognize how, how remarkable and how special it is. But I am for this. Are you not for this? We bless God and God blesses us. And then we have, of course, the middle of the psalm. And many times in Hebrew writing, uh, the Hebrew way of thinking, uh, many times it's the middle that is sometimes even the most significant. What do we have in the middle here? Did you notice it? I'll read the verse. It's the second verse. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. So this is, a, this is coming back to the sanctuary. And of course, in the Bible, back in the book of Exodus, and, and we have it in Leviticus, and we have it in the book of Hebrews, and, and all through the Bible, the uh, book of Daniel. But we have this picture of the sanctuary, and while we haven't gotten into that here, the sanctuary was where God dealt with the sin problem. It was where forgiveness happened. It was where the blood was ministered. It was where God's people were able to be reconnected to him uh, because they uh, were able to be redeemed and to walk away having had their sins forgiven. It says the sanctuary was kind of the nuclear waste dump. It was where all the sins of Israel uh, were taken and through a process there was removed from the camp. That'll be another series uh, someday along the way here. We'll go into that at some depth. But right here, very interesting to me, the blessings of God are connected here with the sanctuary of God, and the sanctuary of God we know is connected with the removal of sin, and wouldn't you and I be more blessed than ever before as every time as we surrender our sins to him and we allow God to keep changing us so that we're not sending sin back up into his, up into his uh, sanctuary. So, closing out the section on Psalm 134 and on the Psalms of Ascent. So we're going to start a seven-part series tomorrow on neology, K-N-E-E-O-L-O-G-Y, how to pray. So we'll be looking at that. I'm looking forward to that with you. But now, speaking of prayer, I'd like to pray with you. Dear Father in heaven, bless us. Bless us. We don't claim to deserve it, but you want to bless us. Help us to bless you, Lord, and receive your blessing back. And that always comes back to you taking the sin away. Lord, please take our sin away and give to us your righteousness. These are things we pray for. These are things we want. And we can only have them through Jesus. May this blessing be upon all of your people through Jesus. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a wonderful day as a Christian in a world that's going to pieces, but that's okay. God be with you.